Hey folks, it's John at Simply Sprouts Farm, and today we're going to be talking about beetle banks. What in the world is a beetle bank? Well, it's not a bank you go to and say, hey, I'd like to withdraw $20 of beetles and a $50 beetle. Although, it's probably an idea that somebody's going to take and make the next virtual currency or something. Who knows? But what we're talking about today is a place in your garden or on your farm that you can use to hold beetles. Beetles will stay there or come there and stay. You want to invite ground beetles into your garden. Why is that? Because at night ground beetles come out. And, and what do they do? They eat squash bugs for one. So we definitely want to have a huge smorgasbord and a bunch of condominiums built on our property for these ground beetles. And you see them uh, all the time. Ground beetles are everywhere. Um, usually if you pick up a log, there's a little black beetle underneath. That's a ground beetle. They hang out during the day and they come out at night and eat. And hopefully one of their favorite foods this year is going to be uh, squash bug delight. So let's get started on making a beetle bank. <laughs> Now, folks, if you had told me even three months, six months ago, John, you'll be planting certain types of grass seed in your garden, on your property. Uh, anyone that knows me knows I'm not a fan of grass. We've had a horrible time fighting grass um, here at Simply Sprouts for years and years and years. So I was a little bit apprehensive to do this, but... Um, you know we have uh, we've declared war on the squash bug so we're gonna do this so what am I going to use to do this well I'll show you how I did the kind of a raised bed when we get out get out to the ground there but for right now what we have is some bent grass seed bent grass Okay, we have some Timothy seed, okay, and we have some little blue stem seed, okay, so I'm going to mix this up and uh, get it ready to uh, get out and put grass in my garden, which I can't believe I'm saying. All right, so here's my mix. Let's say you can use fescue, uh, bent grass, and bunch grass. And we already had some bent grass. The other two, the, the Timothy and the Little Blue Stream, are bunch grasses. They say you want to use at least 30% of that, of the, um, the bunch grasses. So got this mixed up pretty well. All I did was I took a solo cup and I added a cup of each. The um, Blue stem it was really fluffy, so, um, and the others are a little bit more solid, so I kind of 
patted down the blue stream in the cup a little bit to, to get a little bit more in. So there you have it. Now I'm going to go put um, grass seed in my garden. Now the question is, what are you going to do with the rest of the seed? Because I'm not a big fan of grass, but I do use grass seed. You can see right here, this is where the chickens were in my chicken tractor. And um, this is where they were last week. And here's where they are now. So I'll probably put some of the seed down here just to cover it up. And when we move them back over, they'll probably enjoy some different types of grass. They're the chickens, they're the chicky babes. They're mad at me right now because they haven't had their snack today. They're like, what are you waiting for, man? But uh, we'll get to it, girls. Don't worry. I'm moving stuff around and guess what I found? A ground beetle. All right. Ah. Hey, buddy. I'm making you a forest. I just, I moved a, a log in there. There he was. So hopefully he'll find a little home under there. I won't move that one. All right, that's a big one. All right, so in my opinion here, this is my opinion. They say, you know, it's best to do uh, a place all the way through your whole property. And I'm not gonna do that because I'm not a fan of grass and I don't want the grass to go everywhere. So I've kind of put it over here towards the corner. Um, of the garden here and I've got my tomatoes over here and there's gonna be corn and other stuff growing over there but just try to kind of keep it isolated and also what I'm done this year is I have basically planted all my squash and everything right here and I'm gonna put them in hoop houses but again um, we've declared war this year so you know we're gonna try to do everything we possibly can to Keep these squash bugs at bay so with my tiller i put the plow attachment on and i basically plowed around this area here okay so <clears throat> it's a nice area there and i'm gonna plant the seeds down obviously probably got way too many seeds but um got a good mix so let me get that down. Also, they say, you know, whenever you pick up a piece of wood, you see a beetle underneath it. So they, they, tend, to, they tend to like wood. So I've got a couple pieces of uh, old trellis that I'm going to throw down just to kind of make it a little bit more uh, habit friendly. Maybe that'll be the, uh, um, you know, the condo and the rest of these will be uh, different, uh, different homes and houses for these things. But we want to make it as perfect for them as we can. All right, so got the seeds down. So first, I, you know, obviously I tilled everything. Then I put some fertilizer down, just some 10, 10, 10, hand spread it. And then put the parts of the trellis down and then put the seeds down. I'm also gonna add um, some sunflowers out here, make it look pretty. And I probably got some borage or some other flower seed I'm just gonna throw in here as well. And then I'm gonna wet it all down again. That's, you can tell it's still wet from when I prepared it. And we'll go from there. All right, I got it all nice and watered down. So we'll see uh, see how it goes here. Uh, you know, I, I, I used all the seed, by the way. Um, probably a little bit overkill, but Lord knows grass grows really well around here. So in another day, we'll probably have it up to our ankles. But we'll keep posted. Okay, it's a couple, about three weeks later, and uh, here's our beetle bank. You can see there are some grass coming through, but certainly a lot of weeds end up in here too. More grass on this end. I'm just going to let it grow, and if I get weeds and they start going to seed, I'm going to cut them. But the uh, you know, crazy part of this is, you know, you plant grass seed you don't want grass seed to grow in the garden but if you come over here i didn't plant this it's growing just as well if not better than the beetle bank it just shows the dichotomy of whatever you want is always a challenge you can see here in the front i got some sunflowers going up 
All right, so that's the beetle bank. And this is Simply Sprouts Farm, and we'll be giving you some updates through this uh, this summer to show you how it's how it and some of our other projects, as you can see, our garden close just behind us. Show you how that's going and how everything is is running here to try to eliminate or keep down these dreadful squash bugs. And if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And until next time, take care. God bless, and we'll see you soon.